arguably the most remarkable Mayan artifact ever found. The stone sarcophagus lid of King Pakal has produced considerable controversy. Mainstream scholars believe the depiction is of King Pakal on a journey to the underworld. But ancient astronaut theorists believe the king is portrayed seated at the controls of a spacecraft and have dubbed him the Palenque astronaut. He appears to be going into space. He's the original rocket man. There, manipulating his spacecraft, going into space. We have maintained for a very long time that the depiction here is of King Pakal sitting in some type of a spacecraft because he is at an angle like modern day astronauts upon liftoff. He's manipulating some controls right here. He has some type of a breathing apparatus or some type of a telescope in front of his face. His feet are on some type of a pedal. And down here, you have something that looks like an exhaust with flames. The sarcophagus lid of Pakal has been a centerpiece for the ancient astronaut theories since the beginning. Eric von Daniken believes this to be one of his best pieces of evidence. And you see his upper hand, he's manipulating some controls. From the lower hand, he's turning something on. The heel of his left foot is on a kind of pedal. And outside of the capsule, you see a linking flame. This is incredible. This is absolutely a proof for extraterrestrials. The theory rests on the idea that the Mayans were not depicting their usual symbols here, but were trying to realistically depict a rocket with Pakal as its pilot. I think the best thing I can do for you here is to clearly explain what the Mayanists and other scientists who specialize in Mayan culture and artwork believe this scene is depicting. As Ancient Alien said, archaeologists believe this scene is depicting the moment of Pakal's death and his descent into the underworld. Let me show you why they believe that. The most famous symbol in this picture is that of the world tree, which, if you believe ancient aliens, would make up the entire hull of the rocket. It's hard to overemphasize the importance of the world tree in Mayan mythology. The idea was that the world tree extended into the heavens with its branches, and its roots extended into the underworld, so it was a symbol of the bridge between the underworld, heaven, and earth. When it is depicted, it almost always has the double-headed vision serpent on its branches, just like it is depicted here on Pakal's lid. The vision serpent was believed to live at the center of the world. Thus, it is depicted just above the underworld and just below the heavens. In its top branches is the celestial bird, which is seen a little more clearly in other world tree depictions like this one. But on Pakal's lid, you can see it's clearly depicting the same bird. The celestial bird represented the heavens, and thus was pictured on top of the world tree. What Ancient Alien says is the exhaust or fire from the rocket's takeoff is the roots of the world tree extending into the underworld, which is not just typical for the depictions of the world tree, it's pretty much a requirement. In the underworld, we see a picture of the Mayan sun monster, which Pakal is riding into the underworld. The idea was that every time the sun set, it was actually traveling into the underworld, where it would die, like everything else in the underworld. You can even see the bottom half of the sun's face was a skeleton, while the top half still had flesh and had not yet died. This too is a common theme, showing the moment of transition. So Pakal is hitching a ride on the sun into the underworld. Even the so-called smoke is easily explained when you understand Mayan symbols. In Mayan art, whenever you see a so-called traveler, which is a person in transition from one world to the next, there must be something that is making that travel possible. Sometimes it's a twisted umbilical cord, but almost always it's a serpent, often a double-headed serpent. In other words, being in the mouths of double-headed serpents was a symbol of transition from one world to the next. You can see that the so-called smoke is actually the traditional serpent's beard, which appears on almost every depiction of a serpent in Mayan art. Now that you have an idea about what the scholars believe about this, let's look at some of Ancient Aliens' specific claims. He's manipulating some controls right here. They say his hands are manipulating some controls, but if you look closely, his right hand isn't touching anything at all, and the thing to its right is not connected to the tree any more than any of the other floating design elements in the picture. 
His left hand could be said to be manipulating controls more than his right, but you would have to say that all these marks on the tree are controls too, which in reality is probably the bark of the world tree, which was modeled after the Ceiba tree, which had a very unique bark and thus was usually depicted in some way or another in world tree art. The odd position of Pakal's hands in this image is really what all the fuss is about. In the 1970s video refutation of the ancient astronaut theories, the Mayan expert in that film made the point that the hands in Mayan art are often depicted in delicate positions. The Maya like to show hands in rather delicate gestures. Such gestures are common in Mayan art. There are similar examples on the side of the slab. As far as the claim about his foot being on a type of pedal, I would have to say that if that is how aliens design pedals, then we are far more advanced in pedal technology than they are, because that may be the worst angle to put any kind of foot pedal. Plus, there are other reliefs of Mayans in the underworld on similar slabs with their feet in similar positions, but without the rocket. Well, what about this so-called breathing tube for his nose? Well, it doesn't connect to anything, and if you look closely, the thing it could potentially connect to is also represented on the other side of the lid, and is clearly a stylistic element of the vision serpent. What it actually is is a nose piercing, particularly a bone. Uh, here, an earring suspended from a pierced ear, a nose plug, which has the elements of death because it takes the form of a fleshless bone. Finally, consider the context that we find this image. It's on a coffin lid, so the mainstream view is perfectly in line with that, and the whole concept was common in Mayan burials. It would have been a strange thing for them to all of a sudden abandon their usual symbolic artwork to depict a rocket on a coffin lid. The fact is that the symbols on the sarcophagus lid are really consistently used. Often the symbols are even explained in the extensive Mayan writings. These symbols fit perfectly with what we know about their beliefs about the world and the afterlife.